Right, uh, low quality video, Matt in a shack, and I've just thought of a video I've meant to make several times, um, probably quite a while, and yeah, I'm gonna do it now, while, it, while it's fresh in the head. Right, it's a simple way of using your analog watch uh, to tell which way, um, which you know direction, north, east, south, and west is. Um, this only works in the day, obviously you need the sunlight and you need an analog watch. Doesn't work with digital. Um, got my watch here. Uh, you point your hour hand. At the sun. And at the moment the sun is directly at the front of the garage. Uh, I know this because I've just be, been out there. And uh, a few days ago, I moved the solar panels off my roof uh, onto the front of my garage, facing south, because um, they weren't getting much sunlight on the angle they were facing uh, upwards because the sun's so low in the sky this time of year. It's pretty much you know directly in front of me. Um, I don't actually have to look up to see it. So I point the hour hand at the sun, which is just to the left of my garage door, and then with an invisible line in my head, I draw a line um, between the hour hand and the twelve and whichever direction that invisible line between the 12 and the hour hand faces is the direction of south. Um, so we've got a little uh, example here on the, on the old laptop. Right, it's, uh, it's nearly quarter past nine in the morning there. As you'll see, there's my little watch I've made and there's the sun. And as I said, you, uh, you draw like an invisible line in your head from like like a third hand or a fourth hand obviously you've got a second hand um, so you point that line at get that line between the hour hand and the 12 and wherever that line faces or points the direction it goes in is south right undo we'll, uh, we'll change the time where's the rub out thingy there it is right, we'll change the time do another quick little example. So you point your hour hand at the sun, and for this example, we'll say it's we'll say it's we'll make it nice and easy. Round it up to uh, the good old 4 p.m. So it's get that back up there probably. Right, do the hour hand. There's the minute hand. There's the hour hand. We'll say it's 4 p.m. But go away. I'll keep getting this PC repair thing pop up. Right. Um, you point your watch at the sun. For this display purpose, I'm going to move the sun because I can't move the watch. And you point your hour hand directly at the sun. And then in your head, or using mathematical science to calculate this equation. Or you know, you get a pencil or a pen or whatever, and you draw like an invisible line between the twelve and the hour hand. So directly between them two, it's probably about there. Um, so at four p.m., south would be that way, if that makes sense. So step one, find the sun. Step two, point your hour hand at the sun. And step three is draw an invisible line between the hour hand and the 12. And whichever direction that's facing is south. And obviously from that you can determine which way uh, north, east and west is positioned. Um, so hopefully that helps people out. Um, you know, most people have got a compass. A lot of people carry a compass. I've got one on my pocket knife. I've got one on my phone. Um, you know, compasses are useful general different purposes but if you are unfortunate not to have a compass on your person at, a, at one particular time then you actually need to determine which way north south or east or west is um, and you have an analog watch available to you follow that simple step point the hour hand at the sun uh, work out a hypothetical line <laughs> as it may be um, like an invisible line between that between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock and whichever way that faces um, will be your south position um, right so thanks for watching 
I'm going to cut this short. There's no need to make a big video out of it. Uh, this is Wow Sly. Um, and my little survival tip, if you can call it that, uh, how to use your analog watch as a compass. Uh, so stay safe. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care, YouTube.